Bears are formidable creatures that instill fear in anyone who encounters them, a large bear possesses the strength equivalent to five people, with a whopping 600 pounds of power behind just one swipe of its paw, this makes it clear that humans stand no chance against such strength, no matter how physically capable they may be, therefore, when a young girl disappeared in the woods known for its bear population, locals braced themselves for the worst however, what they discovered later inside a Bear's den startled everyone, but not for the reasons they initially anticipated. Anya Baki hailed from the Kamchatka region in the far eastern corner of Russia, renowned for its picturesque mountain ranges, volcanoes, and natural springs, making it a coveted destination for nature enthusiasts. Fortunately, Anya herself was deeply passionate about nature. Despite being a college student living on campus hours away, she had returned home to reconnect with her family and traverse the familiar. Trails she had wandered since childhood Anya had always cherished solitary walks in the forest, and with the tourist season having drawn to a close and the onset of chilly weather, she found the timing ideal for a leisurely stroll, equipped with a backpack containing essential supplies, a bit of food, a water bottle, and some warm clothing, she embarked on her journey early in the day. While she hadn't intended for her walk to extend into the late hours, fate had something else in store for her. As Anya ventured deeper into the forest, the tranquility of the surroundings lulled her into a sense of familiarity, it seemed like any other day, but little did she know, something unexpected awaited her amidst the trees, the forest resonated with the cheerful chirping of birds, basking in the warm sunlight that filtered through the clouds, the verdant trees stood tall and vibrant, casting dappled shadows on the forest floor. About thirty minutes into her walk, Anya stumbled upon tracks, but, they weren't the familiar imprints of human footsteps. Instead, they were sizable, weighty footprints, deeply embedded in the earth, sinking several centimeters into the soil ahead, the path diverged into two directions, presenting Anya with a choice, drawing upon her experience as a seasoned hiker, she instinctively veered away from the imposing footprints, if they indeed belonged to a bear, maintaining distance seemed prudent, in her hometown. Tales of close encounters and attacks involving bears were commonplace, instilling a deep-seated fear in the community, from childhood, she'd been cautioned against straying too far into the woods, reminded of the inherent dangers lurking within, initially, Anya believed she was walking towards safety, yet unbeknownst to her, she unwittingly gravitated closer to peril, this alternate route bore telltale signs of human presence, boot prints etched into the ground, remnants of hikers who had traversed the path earlier in the day. Amongst the foliage lay an abandoned packet of chips, a peculiar sight. Amidst the natural serenity, Anya shook her head in disbelief, realizing the subtle dance between safety and danger concealed within the tranquil embrace of the forest, Anya had been raised with a deep reverence for the environment, instilled with values of preserving nature and leaving no trace behind, the scattered bags in the clearing hinted at the presence of careless tourists, likely from the city, an affront to everything she held dear, though determined to confront them about their disregard, Anya's confidence masked the looming danger that lay ahead, as she entered the clearing, Anya's gaze fell upon a group of ten men, clustered together near a tree, their sudden attention upon her arrival hinted at an air of suspicion surrounding their activities, sensing trouble, Anya opted for a diplomatic approach, asserting her intent to merely pass through, hoping to avoid confrontation, however, as she maneuvered through the clearing, two of the men trailed behind her, their intentions veiled yet palpable, Anya's unease escalated as the men persisted in their pursuit, their presence casting a shadow over her escape, with every glance over her shoulder, their looming figures remained steadfast, realizing the gravity of her predicament, Anya made a swift decision, to flee, through dense thickets and over fallen trees, she raced deeper into the woods, her heart pounding with each stride, only when exhaustion threatened to engulf her did she dare to steal a backward glance, finding solace in the absence of her pursuers, Anya's eyes fell upon a small cave, a potential sanctuary from her pursuers, though she knew it likely belonged to some wild creature, she had no time for such considerations, with haste, she darted into the darkness, seeking refuge amidst its shadows, nestling into the depths, she waited in tense silence, each passing moment heavy with anticipation, soon, 
The rustling of leaves heralded the approach of her adversaries, the two men drew nearer, their footfalls echoing. Ominously, yet, their presence was not solitary, voices murmured behind them, signaling the arrival of the rest of the group, Anya braced herself, resigned to the inevitability of her capture, with a heavy heart, she offered silent prayers to her loved ones, steeling herself for the confrontation that loomed as the men neared the cave, their pace faltered, the once lively chatter subdued to a hushed murmur. Anya's heart pounded in her chest, her breath caught in the stillness of the cave. Suddenly, a stirring beside her shattered the silence, a low growl, resonating with primal intensity, frozen in terror, Anya dared not betray her presence to the men a brush of fur against her skin jolted Anya from her paralysis, as a colossal brown bear emerged from the depths of the cave, its formidable presence filled the cavern with an echoing roar, sending the men into a frenzy of panicked shouts. Though shrouded in darkness, Anya sensed the chaos unfurling beyond the cave's confines, the tumult of struggle and strife echoing through the night. The men's frantic screams intertwined with the bear's thunderous grunts, a cacophony of chaos that pierced the forest's serene facade. Meanwhile, back in town, Anya's parents sensed an ominous silence descending, punctuated by their daughter's conspicuous absence. Concern gnawed at their hearts as twilight descended, prompting them to embark on a journey into the woods in search of their beloved Anya, en route. They encountered two familiar faces, local policemen, who, upon learning of Anya's, Disappearance, offered their assistance, united in purpose, the quartet ventured forth, following the same path Anya had trodden, instinctively gravitating towards the route devoid of animal tracks, they tread cautiously, apprehensive of the unknown perils lurking in the forest's depths, their apprehensions were soon validated as they stumbled upon the clearing, mirroring the one Anya had encountered earlier. A chilling discovery awaited them, weapons strewn across the forest floor, ominous. Portents of the tumult that had unfolded, undeterred, they pressed onward, tracing Anya's footsteps amidst the labyrinth of trees, their resolve unyielding despite the encroaching darkness, guided by the echoes of desperate screams, they surged towards the source, their hearts heavy with dread, as they reached the mouth of the cave, the scene before them unfolded, a man lay wounded, blood staining the earth, while Anya's anguished cries pierced the night air, rushing to the injured man's side, the policemen ensured his disarmament, their training kicking in amidst the chaos, amidst the turmoil, Anya's parents called out her name, their voices trembling with fear and relief, fearing the worst yet clinging to hope, and then, like a beacon of light emerging from the shadows, Anya stepped into view, her presence a bomb to their frayed nerves, in a moment of overwhelming emotion, they enveloped her in a tight embrace, grateful beyond words for her safety amidst the perilous wilderness. Anya reassured her parents and the police that she was physically unharmed. Albeit shaken by the harrowing ordeal, recounting the events, she shared her version of the encounter, attributing the men's retreat to the unexpected intervention of the brown bear, as the police swiftly mobilized for backup, ready to apprehend the criminals lurking within the forest's depths, a tense standoff ensued, in a moment fraught with tension, the bear reappeared, looming large and commanding attention. Despite the palpable fear that gripped the gathering, Anya implored the officers to refrain from violence, sensing an unspoken understanding between herself and the majestic creature, her parents, gripped by fear yet rooted in awe, watched as the bear, devoid of aggression, retreated to the sanctuary of its cave, a silent guardian amidst the chaos, in the aftermath, all ten men fell into the clutches of justice, their nefarious activities laid bare by the relentless pursuit of law enforcement. Anya returned home, her spirit tempered by the indelible imprint of her extraordinary tale, no longer swayed by the town's fearful narratives of bare encounters, she stood as living testament to the unexpected benevolence that had graced her darkest hour reflecting on Anya's plight, one cannot help but ponder the choices that confronted her in the face of imminent danger, would you, dear viewer, have taken refuge alongside the bear, or fled towards the peril that lurked beyond, let's go on. After a compassionate woman suffered a severe accident and was pronounced dead, the wolf she had previously aided during an injury refused to depart from her side, when the doctor examined her and discovered the reason, he had no option but to alert the authorities in the Xinjiang province, Tao Shan worked as a custodial worker for the National Park Service, which entailed cleaning camping sites, buildings, and ensuring the grounds were well maintained, 
Some tasks were arduous and messy, but for Tao, it fulfilled her aspirations, since it was a seasonal position, she enjoyed the freedom it offered. During her off-duty hours, she explored the National Park's trails to her heart's content, hiking had been Tao's passion since childhood and was a significant reason she remained in her hometown, while many of her peers yearned for urban life and lucrative careers, Tao found solace in the simplicity of a stroll through the forest, she never entertained the thought of anything better. A seemingly ordinary day took a dangerous turn as autumn drew to a close, the brisk morning signaled the end of the season, offering Tao less work and more time for exploration, as she embarked on her walk, she found an unexpected companion trailing her steps, half an hour into her journey, she noticed a shadow lingering behind her, elusive yet persistent, despite her attempts to catch sight of it, nothing materialized each time she turned, nonetheless. A growing sense of unease settled upon her as she became increasingly certain of being followed upon reaching a clearing, Tao found herself confronted. With the reality of her pursuer, there, with nowhere to conceal itself, stood a wolf, its presence unmistakable, initially taken aback, Tao's years of experience in her job granted her a sense of calm amidst the uncertainty, she had encountered countless wolves in her tenure, and if this one meant harm, it would have acted already, as she locked eyes with the creature, its demeanor softened, almost resembling that of a curious puppy, this reassured Tao, though she remained uncertain of the Wolf's intentions setting forth once more into the park, Tao found her companion growing bolder, the wolf, no longer aloof, walked beside her as if a companion on her journey, however, a closer inspection revealed signs of distress, the wolf limped, a small pool of blood staining its paw, it was injured and it needed help, Tao removed her backpack, revealing a medical kit essential for her role in the national park. Prepared for unforeseen issues, she diligently tended to the wolf's wound, cleaning, disinfecting, and bandaging it with care, remarkably, the wolf displayed no signs of discomfort, almost as if it implicitly trusted her, satisfied that the bandage was securely in place, Tao released the wolf, expecting it to continue its journey independently, however, to her surprise, the wolf opted to remain by her side, perhaps expressing its gratitude, they continued their stroll through the forest for another hour. Following Tao's regular route, unbeknownst to them, the path held unforeseen events, half. A mile later, they reached the forest's edge, catching a glimpse of the road where Tao's car was parked, it was time to bid farewell, yet the wolf showed no inclination to part ways, a silent companion, it chose to stay close, a silent gesture of appreciation. As they neared the road, an unexpected disturbance caught their attention, someone was trying to attract notice, and a loud sound echoed from down the road, curiosity peaked. Tao decided to investigate, despite being off-duty, responsible. For the park's well-being, she approached the scene to find three men, one of whom had been honking his car horn while the others peered into a ditch, rushing to the scene, Tao aimed to understand the issue, but to her surprise, the men turned their inquiries toward her, confused, they questioned why a wolf was trailing behind her, having almost forgotten about her lupin companion, Tao had to assure the men that there was no cause for concern. Once convinced, they explained the situation to her. They pulled over to the side of the road upon spotting a car in distress, stuck in the dirt, waiting for someone with a larger vehicle to assist in towing, they were relieved when she arrived with her big car, eager to help, it took some effort to tie up the ropes and pull the car from the dirt, but together they managed, they were immensely grateful for her assistance, which made what happened next all the more horrifying, after bidding farewell. Tao got back into her car and merged onto the road. Barely 20 seconds later, a truck crashed into her driver's side door, sending both vehicles careening into the trees, the three men she had just assisted were stunned, screaming out and rushing to her crumpled car, where there was no sign of movement, the same held true for the truck driver, in the rural area, they took it upon themselves to extract Tao and the truck driver and drive them to the nearest village which happened to be Towels. It was a modest village, with only one Doctor Who. Unfortunately, was away at the time, word spread quickly about Tao's accident, and the entire village, along with her family, gathered to try and revive her, despite their efforts, there were no signs of life, after several hours, the town reluctantly declared Tao deceased, however, 
they were in for a startling turn of events the following morning, as they prepared her body for a traditional burial and placed Tao inside a coffin. Something peculiar occurred at the outskirts of the village, local. Children screamed, while adults hurried indoors, startled by the unexpected sight, the wolf had followed Tao all the way to the village after the accident, astonishingly tracking down her scent and finding her in the coffin just as it was about to be sealed and lowered into the ground, frantically scratching at the sides, the wolf seemed determined to break the wood and reach Tao, the three men she had aided recounted the story to the villagers, explaining how Tao had saved the wolf, perhaps. Indicating that it was trying to express gratitude, albeit belatedly, however, they believed it was too late for any intervention. Moments later, the doctor returned from his trip, having rushed back upon hearing the news about Tao, who happened to be a friend of his daughter's, upon witnessing the wolf's behavior, he decided to inspect Tao's body himself. After examining her injuries and conducting tests with a flashlight, it was only when he checked the underside of her body that he made a startling revelation, Tao was still alive. Despite her weak heartbeat, which had gone unnoticed, and an injury compressing her lungs, making her breathing nearly imperceptible, the doctor was certain that Tao was still fighting, the doctor wasted no time, he immediately called the police to dispatch an ambulance to the scene but then made the decision to personally drive Tao to the city hospital where he practiced, despite the hour-long journey. Almost the entire village formed a convoy to follow him, upon arrival, the doctor rushed Tao, to the emergency room and detailed the situation to the medical staff, after thorough examination and life-saving measures, it was confirmed, Tao was alive, albeit in a coma, it took several months, but miraculously, Tao recovered, when she finally returned to her village, she was greeted with a heartwarming surprise, the wolf, which had been visiting almost daily, hoping for Tao's return. Thanks to the wolf's unwavering determination to repay her kindness, Tao was back among her community, what? An extraordinary tale, the wolf scratching at the coffin and its whimpering before Tao's body displayed a remarkable loyalty and bond between wild animals and humans, it's truly astounding how wild animals can exhibit such loyalty and compassion toward humans in times of need, what are your thoughts on this incredible story?